The MRC Wetherill Institute of Molecular Medicine is a leading disease research centre specialising in molecular and cell biology. Established in 1989 at the University of Oxford, its pioneering approach over the last 25 years has fostered a wide range of significant scientific breakthroughs, leading it to be considered one of the foremost research centres in the world. By the 1970s, it was quite clear that molecular biology and, and related fields were going to be a key part of medicine and medical research in the future. So a building became available on this site and I approached the faculty board and suggested that we set up an institute. When we set it up, um, it probably was the only place in the world uh, with, with, with those kind of facilities. The Institute has been instrumental in understanding the biological processes of disease. Testimony to this are the many awards and accolades that have been earned. Fifteen Institute scientists have become Fellows of the Royal Society. And in 2010, Sir David Wetherill received the Lasker Koshland Award for Special Achievement in Medical Science. I can't imagine a more exciting time to be doing medical research. And over the last 40 years, there have been dramatic changes in our understanding of uh, the basics underlying medicine. And I think that the, for the last 25 years, the doctors and scientists at the Weatherall Institute of Molecular Medicine have been at the heart of this revolution. It was here we first learned about how abnormalities in the genes that make the red cell pigment haemoglobin cause the world's most common forms of inherited anemia. It was also in this institute that scientists first discovered how the immune system recognises and eradicates viruses. Scientists of the WIM have made major breakthroughs in understanding how the body senses oxygen uh, and how cancers may develop new ways to obtain the oxygen they need to grow. Although a vast range of human disease is covered by the Weatherall Institute, much of the research focuses on five key themes. The immune system is a network of cells tissues and organs, which is crucial for human health, as all these components uh, work together to defend the body from attacks by pathogens. But the, the globalization of uh, in infectious diseases and the increased numbers of patients with cancer and patients with uh, autoimmune diseases such as Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, is becoming a major threat uh, and, and the, the, the MRC Human Immunology Unit is a key player in this uh, international worldwide uh, effort. The stem cell is really a parental cell that gives rise to all the other cells within a tissue. Well, it's thought that in many cancers the problems really start with stem cells going wrong. And our lab is interested to understand the changes that occur in a stem cell that gives rise to acute myeloid leukemia in a patient. And the point of this is to try and identify new ways of trying to eradicate these diseases. So uh, what we're interested in is really two simple questions. How do you normally make blood? And how does that go wrong in patients with severe forms of anemia or leukemia? So what we're trying to do is to understand how the genes are switched on and off during that process to make a stem cell mature and form the elements of the blood. In all probability, every family in the UK and almost worldwide will have a member affected by cancer. The WIM fosters fantastic collaborations between surgeon scientists like myself, cancer clinician scientists and basic scientists to be able to ask fundamental questions about cancers. So a lot of the work we do is on a, a disorder called craniosynostosis. The craniofacial unit um, is actually led uh, by two plastic surgeons, uh, but they're part of a much wider team that includes uh, surgeons, um, other therapists such as speech therapists, and of course the clinical geneticist. But it means that we can put our heads together, different sources of expertise, 
um, and the, the families get an opinion in a, a, a single consultation. The Wetherill Institute's success can be credited to the way in which it supports research. For example, working at the molecular level generates a vast amount of data, which is managed by the Computational Biology Research Group. The Institute has also invested heavily in imaging, so that cell processes can be seen in much greater detail. We can, with optical microscopy, study the living cell, and that's what it's all about. We want to see how things move and develop when a cell is, for example, infected. This is a threshold that we're just stepping over. It's very, very exciting. With 25 years of celebrated achievement to its name, the Weatherall Institute continues to pave the way in highly complex and rewarding fields of scientific research.